Hello, Larissa. Where Hi. were you? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Where have you been? Va a disculpar, pero ayer, ¿cómo se llama? Tuve que trabajar bien noche y ¿cómo se llama? Entonces, ya ni modo, ya no, ya eh, con, con los clientes, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Porque eh, um, tuve que, eh, que vamos a hacer unos boletos aéreos. Entonces, como ya comenzamos, supuestamente ya empezamos a no ver. Los boletos, entonces, ahí va a disculpar. No, no problem. It's okay. It's good. Okay, good. Excellent. Now we have, a, well, Esther is here. We have Luis, Mauricio, Cristina, Matias. We have Maurice again, Perez, and Dinor. Okay. Let's see what we had yesterday, right? No, this is not. This is the one. Okay, what do you have? Consulta, teacher. Excuse me? Me puedo hacer una consulta? Sure. Sé que este, yo ya terminé, digamos, todo lo que tengo que hacer supuestamente en la página. Mm -hmm. En, en cada uno de los requerimientos que me da el sistema, pero sí, pero siempre me sigue llegando un mensaje donde dice de que yo no he completado y sí, que eso, eso termina el viernes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso viene el WhatsApp. Entonces, que estaban poniendo a varios el mensaje, ¿verdad? Sí, y yo estaba, este, ¿cómo se llama? Yo estuve viendo el progreso que tenía en la página y me parece que tengo en un noventa y tanto por ciento. Entonces, no sé si, si hay algunos requerimientos ocultos que yo no los he descubierto no, que no. tengo que realizar. Es ¿Verdad? ¿O todos los solamente solo... No, hasta donde yo sé son completar uh -huh. los ejercicios y los dos, de, de, y los dos exámenes. ¿no? Que es el los mismo. dos exámenes. Ah, pues eso ya lo... Ya lo, ya lo... Este, y, no uh -huh. le ha, y no le ha dado la opción de imprimir el, el cómo es que se llama el diploma. Porque no, no. Que hay una donde se, se pone que imprimir el diploma y ya todos están completos los... Ah, yeah. sí, sí, pero eso es una opción, ¿no? Y tampoco he escuchado que algunos compañeros supuestamente ya le dieron una invitación de, para, para inscribirse, mandar la información para un nuevo curso y tampoco a mí me aparece. No sé si ya me expulsaron. <risa> Alga, saber qué, qué, qué hizo de mal ahí, que ya lo tienen. Ajá. Lidia. Permítame, ahora voy a apuntar su nombre, Mauricio Larcón, ¿verdad? Mauricio Javier Larcón Jovel. Mauricio Javier, ¿verdad? ¿no? Sí, Mauricio Javier, la okay. eh, Y voy a, voy a averiguar si hay algo más, por, o sea, que se ha, se ha pasado algo en, su, en sus ejercicios. Ok, Porque, este, ¿Cómo que se llama? Hasta donde yo sé, no debería. No debería tener ningún problema si ya los hizo. Porque me recuerdo que en los cursos anteriores me decía algún alumno, ah, me dicho, ya terminé todos los, este, uh -huh. los ejercicios, entonces... Este, y ya me decía, y hasta ya me, ya, me, ya, me, ya me salió ahí el diploma. Por eso le pregunté Ajá. que si le había salido uh -huh. el diploma. Sí, pero eso no me sale porque lo estaba observando ayer y no me salí. Entonces dije, le voy a preguntar al maestro, para, que es el que sabe, para ver qué me dice. Sí, hasta donde yo sé, como le digo, no hay nada oculto, no debería, debería darle ya. Voy a ver si hay alguna cuestión técnica ahí. Porque okay, sí, incluso perfecto. han estado, me dije, muchos ya están adelante de la... Del, del ejercicio de la sección 4 y estaban ahí preguntando que si había problemas con la sección 1 hasta del midterm ¿Qué puede hacer sí, que sí. algo en la yo plataforma ya terminé ya hice yo los exámenes y todo y me aparecen verde todo okay. mm -hmm. así como acá mm -hmm. okay. sí correcto okay. así es que no debería haber problema mm -hmm. ok, very okay. Good. gracias I find out y, y le aviso mañana ok, okay gracias All right. so then we have here well Okay, guys, we have today lesson objective. Okay. Here. 
Okay, so today we're going to have a WH question, like with did, was, and where. Additionally, you will practice the conversation, okay? Now we'll see, we have this conversation here. Hi, this class is going to count. But first, let me... Okay, uh, turn off your microphones, please, and then we will. And answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together hoping that it's not confusing or difficult so let's start with questions with did when forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be we can follow this formula wh word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement this is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right-hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. 
wh word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the wh word, what. Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones in this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. So Chuck, where... Okay. Any questions, people, about the structure? Hey, teacher, excuse me. Yes. Major, what's mean? Major is the, let's say the, when we study, I study English, for example, and there are different majors, different areas. One is for tourism, one is for teaching, for teaching. Okay, for example, I study English, and other people too, but my major is in teaching, okay, so to teach English. So like, you know, to, to be a uh, specialist in teaching, okay, and there are some other people that they're, they are specialists in uh, tourism, want to speak English, right? Oh, okay. Like a specialidad, right? Like oh, okay, major, oh, okay. That would be Thank nice. you. Okay. Let's listen and practice. What else? Eh, el, creo que become, algo así, es verbo. Yes, become a verb, yes. So why become uh, um, a first study? Like, why did you time. become a teacher? Why did you become a doctor? Okay, why did you become a dentist? Okay, why, why, why you are what you are not, right? Why did you become? Okay. Okay. What else? Any other questions? Okay, so we have here, uh, please, uh, let me see. Uh, Larissa and Mauricio Larcón. Can you please read this conversation here? Okay. You begin, Larissa. Okay, so, shock, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And where did uh, you come to Los Angeles? In 99, I went to college here. Oh, what? Your ma ah, oh, what's your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstyle? Because I needed the money and I love it. It's look at look what do you think? Well um oh what well uh whatever okay <laughs> okay good that's a good intonation nice now let's okay. see Mauricio Perez and Veronica Read it. so okay so where did you grab up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what what do you major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That, that is in interesting. So, we did you become it? Why, um, why did I, you? Why did you? 
become. 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 Uh, are still is. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Hey. Hair stylist. Hey. Hair. Hair. Stylist. Stylist. Styler. Hair stylist. Nice. Um, because I need the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Way good. Well, um, I need the money. Okay, the money. Okay, good. Okay, Christina and Luis. Um, so, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And and when did you come to Los Angeles? In nineteen ninety. I went to college here. Oh what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hair stylist? Because I needed the money and look at this. Uh, I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, um, well, um, no, good. All right, thank you. Now, uh, Vinora and Ricardo. Okay. Uh, so, Chu, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In the night, I went to call here. Oh, what were your major? Drama. I was actor for I was after college. That's interesting. So what did you be become a hair sign? Because I needed I need the it. money and I love it. What? Need it. I need it. Need. Uh, I need the money. And I love to. What do you think? Well, uh, well, um, okay, good. And, well, the last two. Rocio and Godfrey. So, to when do you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when do you come to Los Angeles? In 99. I went to college here. Oh, uh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it look. What do you think? Well, um... <laughs> well, uh... I don't like it very much, maybe, right? So, what do you think about this hairstyle? Terrible, huh? Very nice. Very nice, yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. You don't Terrific. like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Attractive. But at least, well, well, no sé. Okay, good. All right, so then uh, now, please take a look at this. Where did you grow up? I grew up. I would like to point out that the key to understand where 
whenever you need to ask sensors. Okay. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right-hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. Okay, I wanted to show you this part again because in the exercises, in one of the uh, knowledge checks, there are some uh, structures. Here they are using only one verb, right? If you see here, for example, it says, but you can also say, suppose like, when did you using the same uh, formula, when did you, okay. Decide. Okay, when did you decide? But this one, if you see verb, they say here in present, but there is another form that you say to study. To study English. Okay, when did you decide to study English? So here, now we are using two verbs. And the did is for decide, but to study is an they call it infinitive form, okay? This one, because this one never changes. When did you decide to study English? When did you decide to work in that company? When did you decide to play tennis? When did you decide to uh, work for him? Now, if you see in the, let's see, in an answer, Then you can say, I decided, okay? Then you change decide for decided, correct? But if you had, I decided to study English, English, when? When did you decide to study English? Anybody? Ah, Mauricio uh, Perez? Or oh, Luis? Last month. Last month. Very good. Okay, you see, for example, that we change decided, but we don't change to set. Okay, and this sentence is in past tense, okay? 
here we are only using one verb. But in one of the exercises after this, you will see that you will need to, to use two verbs. Questions? No problem? Uh, teacher, um, uh -huh. uh, ahí en, en esa última oración, si yo quisiera poner hace tres meses, ¿cómo sería el orden ahí? Three. Three, three last month. No, three. Oh my God. I decided, I decided to study English three months ago. Okay. Excuse me, teacher, ago is, um, is antes. No. No, algo es. Hace. Hace. Sí, sí, sí. Excuse me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I decided to study English three months ago. Ago. Uh -huh. And in the other one, last, last month is el mes pasado, right? So we have a go last month, last week. Okay. I decided to, to travel to Europe. Uh, three years ago. Okay, I decided to live in this house 10 years ago. Okay, and then this is ago. And then you use here, one day ago, two days ago, one hour ago, two minutes ago, okay? Two years ago, two decades ago. Siempre hacer esta estructura de hace tanto tiempo. Okay? Other questions? Okay, these are the things related to the past tense, right? That you can use to express your ideas, feelings, or anything that you have or that you want to say about the past. Okay, now we have to start this one. Here we go. Yes, sir. If you notice the verbs change to the past tense now, because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past, using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First we need to add the WH word, what. Then we need to add was or where. After that we include the subject, your major, Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did what activity. Share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, here we have, and then you can see here some of this samples about the knowledge. Okay, so what do we have in the number one? What is the correct order of the words? You already have an idea. What is it? What is the correct order? Uh, where, where did you did grow up? <laughs> where did you grow up? There we go. Okay, what about the next one, number two? In the year 2000, all were you how? Were you how in the year 2000? 
Mm, no. Not exactly. How old were you in the year 2000? How old were you in the year 2000? Okay. How old were you? How about number three? Who can help with the number three? When did you begin to study? English. When did you begin uh -huh. to study English? Okay, so this is what we were talking about. When did you begin? To study English. Here comes the infinitive form that you can say, when did you begin to study English? When did you begin to work in that company? When did you begin to read books in English? When did you begin to, to lose weight? Okay, when did you begin to, to drive, okay, to drive a new car? This is when did you begin? And the last one? With the verb to be. When were you born? When were you born? Okay, there you go. And here you can see the answers. Where did you grow up? How old were you in the year 2000? When did you begin to study English? And when were you born? Okay, so these are the, the different structures that we use. And then you can see. Okay, always remember, WH were, where, what, who, what, when, why, how, then the auxiliary verb is, then the subject, that would be uh, you, he, she, we, you, they, and then the verb, the action. Where did you eat? Where did you have lunch? Where did you study? Where did you put the laptop? Where did you put the money? Okay. How old were you uh, in the year 2000? How old were you in high school? How old were you in 2010? Okay, you can change, you know, the question using different vocabulary. Okay, when did you begin? To study when you begin to when do you begin to to run okay to go to go jogging to and when were you born okay so these are different uh, ways to ask for this question okay doubts alguna duda question about the past with the verb did the uh, and the verb to be, was, where? Questions, negative sentences, affirmative sentences. No? Okay, maybe not. No, thanks, teacher. Thank you. All right, if you have questions, you can have a pregunta, no last. Okay. Now, then say by the end of this class, you will be able to learn vocabulary for discussing school. So class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's see. School days. Now here we're going to use the past tense. Look. What is the word that we have here? Classroom. College. Elementary. Gym, high, history, junior high, uh, lunchroom, math, physical education, play, the playground, and science. Now, the important thing here is also the, well, the vocabulary is definitely the second pronunciation. 
Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes History Math Physical Education Science Schools College Elementary High Junior High Places Classroom Gym Lunchroom Playground Now, I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into three different sections. Classes, schools, and places. For example, under places you can add classroom. Then, I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Try to make as many questions and answers as possible. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. For example, under places you can add classroom. Okay, good. <clears throat> so what do we have here for the classroom? And then classes, what are the classes? Math. Which one? History. History. Okay. Math. 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 Yeah, math. math. Science. Science. Physical education. And physical education, right? So we have history, math, physical education, and science. Okay, there we have four words. Okay, good. What about a school? Okay, uh, we have college. Hi. Hi. Science. Junior high. Junior high. Elementary. And elementary. Okay, so we have college, elementary, high, high and junior high. junior high. Okay, good. These are the ones we wrote here. In places. Classroom. We have the classroom. Gym. The gym. Playground. The, uh -huh, the lunchroom. Playground. Playground. The, the lunchroom. And then we have the playground. playground. Play. Okay. So we have here, for example, the, in the United States from first grade is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Fifth grade is elementary. Okay, six, seven, eight is junior high. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, and then uh, then from nine, ten, eleven, and twelve is considered high school. Okay, and then you have college. College is like a Technical school, more or less, something like that. something like IPCA, for example, right? It's a college. Okay, like, and then you have the similar, right? Similar, and then you have university too, right? When you finish high school, when you finish high school, you can go to college or you can go to university. So two options. Here you can go to the technical school or you can go to university. And you can touch It's optional. Excuse me, teacher, when you say bachelor, what does it mean? Depends. Depends on the context, Larry. Because oh, okay. uh, bachelor is a person who is not married. Okay? You have a bachelor party, it's an expedida soltero. Okay? Ah. But if you have bachelor degree, this is like a similar to a licenciatura, right? Ah, oh, okay. So it depends on the context, okay? Ah, oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Yes. You have, for example, you have my bachelor's degree in teaching English, right? You have a título de. 
okay. okay. okay that's bachelor degree. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Now, any other question? Now, look at the questions that you have here. Since in the past, using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Try to make as many questions and answers as possible. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, good. So let me see. Okay, now please uh, write or so two questions, right? Two questions. Like for example, where did you go to high school? Okay. Or oh, where this and these two questions that we have to make it easier for you. And remember, okay. After you finish this activity, you can use where you go to elementary school, where you go to high school, where you go to university, or what you say where the what were your favorite subjects in high school? Well, who was who was your favorite teacher? Okay. Uh, who was your best friend? Uh, your best friend, sorry. Who was your best friend? Who were your, let's say, uh, your favorite teachers? Okay. Uh, what were your favorite subjects? Okay. Write two questions. One with where or was and one with did. Okay. And after you can ask the questions here in the group. Okay. For example, I can ask Ricardo. Ricardo, where did you go to high school? And then you say, I went to? Uh, where did you go to high school? I went to? Mm. Where do you go? Where did you go to high school? Yes? Mm -hmm. Then in I the end, to, I went to? I went to, to the university. No, but the high school? What What high school? The name no. of the high school. Uh -huh. um, I am not high school. You don't finish, you haven't finished high school? Where did you go to high school? I went to San Valor. Okay, okay. Where did you go to high school? Where did you go to high school? I went to Instituto de Salvador, right? Okay, then you say, I went to, where did you go to high school? I went to Instituto de Salvador, right? Good. Then, Mauricio Perez, where did you go to high school? I went to uh, Instituto Nacional Thomas Jefferson. Okay, good. I went to Instituto Nacional Thomas Jefferson. And what was your favorite subject? Um, it was. Uh, it it was uh, math and science. Ma okay, they were. Then you say in plural. They were. Ah, uh, they math were. And science. Math and science. Math. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, Clarissa, where do you go to? Where do you go to high school? I went to uh, Asuncion High School. Okay, and who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher. Uh huh. And, um, uh, she uh, she was um, uh, the name was uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Torres. Okay, my favorite teacher was Mrs. Torres. My favorite teacher was Mrs. Torres. Okay, good, nice. Thank you. Okay, good. And Luis Canales, who was your favorite teacher in elementary school? 
I don't remember, teacher. <laughs> okay, good. And what was your favorite, uh, let's say, uh, what was your favorite uh, moment in the school, Luis? Mm. What was your favorite moment? What was your favorite moment in the school? Um, pero como como este como puedo responder eh, el inicio de la respuesta este, me lo puede dar <laughs> well, me ayuda uh -huh. what was your favorite moment eh, o sea cuando ganamos eh, intramuros oh, when uh -huh. when when we won uh -huh. when we won the intramuros uh -huh. the intramuros okay when we won Cuando ganamos. It's the same, okay, in Spanish. Like when we won. Okay. Good. Thank then, you. Uh, okay, then uh, let's see, Rocío. What was your favorite sport in school when you were in school? Uh, my favorite sport was uh, basketball. Basketball. Okay, did you play basketball? Did you play in the team? Did you play in the basketball team? Yes. Okay. The, and uh, what time did you train basketball? What time did you practice? Uh, I was practicing in the um, weekend. The weekend. Okay, mm -hmm. practice on the weekend. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, uh, let's say, Mr. Nelson, where do you go to university? Hello, Mr. Nelson, where did you go to university? Hello. So he has problems with the audio, right? Ceci, where do you go to, uh, let me see, middle school? Mm -hmm. Oh, junior school, junior high. Where? Mm -hmm. uh, I went to Ray Salomon High School. Okay, very good. And who was your best? friend uh, she she was no sé cómo decir su nombre yeah she was she was katia Jenny, Kat, uh -huh. okay yes yeah, she was katia okay good she was your best friend and let's say what was your favorite subject oh yes what was your favorite subject science english Math, social studies. My favorite subject was was language. Okay. Language, language, no language. Se language. 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 Okay. Language. Yeah, that was language. Language. Okay, good. One volunteer to ask a question. One volunteer who wants to ask a question. No? Come on, guys. One question, one question. Don't be shy. Yes, Christina? I'll ask a question, where did you go? Just ask one question. Teacher. Uh, uh, primero Mauricio. Yeah, listen, listen to Mauricio, yes. Okay, teacher, when did you give your first English class? Wow, when? 
1992. Well, at the end of 1991, like November, December. Many years ago, right? Like 20, almost 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Okay, when did you give this? When did you teach? When did you teach your first English class? Thank you, Luis. Uh, Mauricio? When did you go to university? I went to the National University and also, and also in the, to the, to the Gavidia University, too, in both. Okay, that in both. Okay. Uh -huh. Different things, but in both. What else? What is your favorite uh, restaurant? My favorite restaurant? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, probably uh, for hamburgers and eating a lot of food, it's probably Chubby Boy. I like that kind of hamburger. Uh, for meat, sometimes uh, the pump is good, but it's not my favorite, right? So I, I don't have a favorite restaurant, but for hamburgers and food like pizza and stuff like that, yes, probably the uh, Charlie Boy. Okay, another question? Teacher, yes, yes, no, no. no sé si está bien por mirar, formulada, pero es mm -hmm. eh, What was your dream of child? What, what was your dream as a child? Mm -hmm. Is there something else I can help with? So, no, that's not with you. Okay. Uh, I, I wanted to be a soccer player and a doctor. That was my dream. Okay, to be a soccer player or a doctor. But none. Pero ninguno, right? None of the two. Okay. Así pasa, teacher. Huh? Así pasa. <laughs> yes, it's true. Okay, dreams are dreams. Okay, what else? Another question? Um, no sé, pero where do you learn English? Where did? Uh -huh. Where did you where, learn English? Where did you learn English? Okay. Oh, learn, learn. Mm, I don't know exactly, Mauricio, but, uh, but I was in different places, right? For example, the, when I was a little kid, I began very, very, very young, like seven years old, maybe, Centro Cultural. Then, uh, then in the school, then uh, in the university, and then traveling in different countries, you know, in the United States, in Ireland, in Ireland for some months and let's say that mostly most practice in the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Nice experience. Teaching. Teaching and teaching too. Yeah. Teaching you learn a lot. When you teach, you learn. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. What else? Teacher. Yes, sir. Where did you grow up? Grow up. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Ciudad Delgado. I grew up in Ciudad Delgado. That was my, it's like my hometown. That was my, I lived there for, so let me see for maybe 15 to 20, no, like 18 years, more than 18 years. But then I, when I was, after that, I moved to different places, but before, in Australia, I grew up there. Okay, what else? Teacher, I don't know, but uh, the, 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 the question is, what, uh, what did you marry? What did are you married? No. Mm, I know that it's related to marriage, but when? When, when 
Ah, okay. Uh, when did when? you? Uh -huh. when, when did you? When did you get married? Okay, exactly, exactly. <laughs> was 19, August 28, 1993. Oh. So this Friday, this Friday there will be 27 years of marriage. Okay. This, fri this Friday is my anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so you see how you can get personal information right from the from the past with these questions, right? What else? Oh yes, Ceci, tell me. Teacher, uh, when did you decide to work in English Corporativo? Oh, that was uh, that was last year. Last year it was in October, maybe. Yes, like in October last year. And I decided and I began in January. Okay. Yeah, because there were some, I had to take some training courses for in support and stuff like that. And then many papers and then I began in January. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank okay. you. You're welcome. What else? Don't be shy. One more, one more question. Using where? Where were you? Ah, for example, the question like, uh, where were you uh, in 19, when was the earthquake, 1987 or 1986? Cuando fue el terremoto? Ah, usted no se acuerda de eso. Del 86. 86. Del okay. 86, 2001. Yes. Well, where were you in the earthquake 1986? Where were you in 1986? October 10th, right? Okay. Who remembers that? I remember. Okay. Where were you, Larissa? I um I went to my house because I study with uh, friends. Okay. Uh, so you were you were studying with some friends. Yes, in my house. Okay, good. And in two thousand one, people, where were you in two thousand one? Ah. Where were you in two thousand one? I was I was um. I was uh, in my work. I was at work, okay. Yes, I was at my work. I, work. I was at work too, I was at UCA. And I was teaching English at UCA on Saturday. Okay, and the, really? first, the first one, the first one in January, 2001. Yes. Okay, what else? ¿Quién más recuerda dónde estaba en el 2001? Who remembers that? Where were you in 2001? January 2000. I was pay in the bank credit. Okay, you were paid your credit card. <laughs> credit card, yes. Okay, good. All right, so then, uh, well, uh, practice this kind of questions for tomorrow, and, uh, and then we will, well, I guess that tomorrow we have, we almost finish, and on Friday we're gonna take a look at this. Uh, the, at the exam on Friday, on Thursday. I'm gonna take a look at the exam for, to see if you have any doubts or questions for the topics, okay? So we have two more classes, tomorrow and Thursday. Okay, people, have Thank a good you. night. Okay. Thank you. Good, tomorrow. good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.